Hi viewers, welcome to our channel and by watching this video, you will get to know about major election rules and what are election related offences, whether they are cognizable or non-cognizable with permission granted. The Representation of the People Act 1951, it was one of the major and very first act to be passed for the conduct of elections in India that was passed by the Provisional Parliament in the year 1951. It provides major election rules to the candidate and the agents for both the Lok Sabha and also the state legislature. Like you cannot be the member of parliament if you cannot vote and any change in the name or address of a political party should be communicated to the election commission. It's regulated by the article 327 under the constitution of India. The Registration of Electoral Rules 1960 This section contains rules regarding the preparation of electoral rules to be updated from time to time. This act also provides for the issue of new voters ID with photo to all voters. It also provides for the inclusion of all eligible voters and elimination of non-existent and non-eligible voters. The Election Commission has to prepare the electoral rules with photo and all the particulars of all the voters. Conduct of Election Rules 1961 This Act deals with everything in the election from the start to the end. That means from the issuing of favorite notification, filling of nomination, scrutinization of the nomination, withdrawal of the nominations, counting of votes and taking of polls. Many amendments have been made in this Act. The most recent have been done in 2016 that deals with the change of rules for the postal ballot. Election Symbol Order 1968 This law gives the power of identifying political parties and symbols to the Election Commission only. It also gives the power to the Election Commission to solve disputes over symbols between different parties and allocation of those symbols. Election expenditure by a political party or a candidate A political party or a candidate cannot spend any amount of money for election purpose. For the purpose of Lok Sabha, they can spend only from 50 to 70 lakhs and for state legislature election, they can spend from 20 to 28 lakhs. According to the Rule 90 of Conduct of Election and have to keep in a separate account for that and submit it to the Election Commission. And if the Election Commission find that they have spent more than the limit, they can be punished by disqualification for three years under Section 10C under the Representation of the People Act 1951. Universal Adult Suffrage Any Indian citizen above the age of 18 without discrimination of gender are allowed to vote under the Article 326 or in the Indian Constitution. When this Act was written in the Constitution, the age was 21. Only after the 61st Amendment, the age limit was changed to 18 years. What is cognizable and non-cognizable offence? A cognizable offence is in which a police officer under the first schedule or the law implemented for time being has the authority to arrest and start investigation without court orders. A non-cognizable offence under the first schedule in which the offence is bailable and the police officer cannot arrest or start investigation without court orders. Electoral offences concerning meetings Cognizable offence Promoting or attempting to promote hatred or enmity on the basis of caste, religion, race, community or language between different classes of India is considered an offence under the section 125 of the Representation of the People Act 1951 and section 153A of the IPC. Punishment is 3 years imprisonment or fine or both of them. Acting or provoking others to do any act that will disturb the meeting is considered an offence under the section 127 of the Representation of the People Act 1951. Punishment is 6 months imprisonment or fine or both. Non-cognizable offences. It's a rule that all meetings are prohibited by 48 hours before the poll. No one should attend or conduct any meeting with regards to election or display any campaign in television or any way. No entertainment or amusement act by any political party to attract people for election or voting. It is considered offence under Section 126 of the Representation of the People Act 1951. Punishment is two years of imprisonment or fine or both of them. 
concerning officers persons involved in election duty cognizable offence no official connected with the election shall do not act other than giving of vote for the furtherance of the prospect of election of any candidate it is considered offence under the section 129 of the representation of the people act 1951 punishment for such act is 6 months imprisonment fine or both breach of official duty without reasonable cause by an election officer or any other person related to the election is considered an offence under the section 134 of the representation of the people act 1951 punishment is up to rupees 500 non cognizable offence every officer who is related to or perform any duty for election or for counting of votes or election shall maintain the secrecy of counting if not maintained it is a violation and it is considered offence under the section 128 of the representation of the people act 1951 punishment for such offence is 3 months imprisonment fine or both if any person of government as acting as an election agent or polling agent or counting agent of a candidate in election it is considered offence under the section 134a of the representation of the people act 1951 its punishment is 3 months imprisonment or fine or both in the carrying of arms cognizable offence no other person than the returning officer the presiding officer any police officer or any other officer who is appointed to maintain peace and order situation at the polling station on the polling day can go armed with weapons if he does go armed in with weapons if not a officer then the it is an offence under section 134b of the representation of the people act 1951 the punishment for such offence is 2 years of imprisonment or fine or both against denying someone right to vote non cognizable offence if any employer denies the non granting of a paid holiday to the employee entitled to vote on the date of poll is an offence under section 135b of the representation of the people act 1951 its punishment is fine up to 500 at or near polling station on the date of poll cognizable offence canvassing in or near polling station persuading any elector to vote or not to vote for any candidate soliciting the vote for elector exhibiting any notice or sign relating to the election it is an offence under the section 130 of the representation of the people act 1951 its punishment is fine up to rupees 250 misconduct of any person in the police station or disobedience of lawful direction of the presiding officers depending on the order of him being removed by any police officer on the duty of police station any person so removed if he re enters the police station can be arrested on the orders of presiding officers it is offence under section 132 of the representation of the people act 1951 its a punishment is 3 years imprisonment or fine or both against harming a public servant on duty cognizable offence any person whatsoever cause simple or any grievous hurt or assault to deter a public servant from doing their duties it's an offence under the section 332 333 353 of the indian penal code its punishment is imprisonment for 2 to 10 years and fine against tampering of evm or ballot paper cognizable offence booth capturing is a seizure of polling station or a place fixed for the poll by any person making pay- polling authorities submit ballot papers or voting machine or allowing only his or their own supporters in the polling station and not allowing others to come in and exercise their voting rights or seizure of the place of counting votes under the section 135a of the representation of the people act 1951 punishment for such offence is 3 to 5 years imprisonment and fine if the offence is con- committed by a person in government services and 1 to 3 years of imprisonment and fine 
for others if any person fraudulently destroys the EVM or paste any paper, tape, etc. on the symbol, name, ballot button of the EVM for the purpose of election commission or fraudulently destroys the ballot or put anything in the ballot boxes except ballot paper commits an offence under the section 136 of the Representation of the People Act 1951. Punishment for such offence is two years imprisonment and fine for any officer and clerks for the employee on the election of duty and six months of imprisonment or fine for others. On the orders of presiding officer, police can arrest the offenders. If the presiding officer of a polling station has any reason to believe that the EVM or ballot paper out of the, is out of the polling station, the presiding officer may or direct a police officer to search such person, may arrest or ask police officer uh, to be arrested under the section 125 of the Representation of the People Act 1951. Punishment for such offence is one year of imprisonment or fine or both. Concerning pamphlets, posters, handbills, placards, non-cognizable offence. If anybody prints pamphlets, posters, handbills, placards and that does not bear on its face the address of the printer and the publisher, it is an offence under the section 127 of the Representation of the People Act 1951. The punishment for such act is six months imprisonment or fine up to Rs 2000 or both.